This is Twit. Daniel is next in uh, LK Forest. I would guess that's Lake Forest County. We're doing everything now in Sweetheart Talk, Lake Forest County, California. Hi, uh, hi, hi, Daniel. Welcome. How you doing, Leo? Thanks I, for being available. I, I am. A question for you. Called. Yes. Uh, I have a Samsung 8.4 inch Tab 4 uh, tablet, and I also have computers at home. And uh, there are some things on YouTube that I'd like to be able to view without accessing Wi-Fi, which I can't do on a on a Metrolink train. And I'm wondering if there's a way to convert the YouTube video to be able to be stored on the Android tablet so that I could look at it without having a Wi-Fi connection. There used to be, you're not supposed to, right? YouTube, the whole idea is YouTube is you're streaming it live. Okay. Um, there used to be, and I don't know if it'll still work, but there used to be a number of sites that would do this, like TubeSock, I think it was called. Uh, TubeSock and TuSock Pro. I wonder if they still work because YouTube has now uh, stopped using Flash and is using HTML5. Um, you can try it for 30 seconds and see. It comes from the poorly named website Stinkbot. S-T-I-N-K. <laughs> Easy to remember. Uh, right. This is A lot of people use this very well known. This is a download. There are websites that will do it too, like keepvid, K-E-E-P-V-I-D.com, that you just go there and you put, uh, you put the YouTube video in there, and it converts it to something you can download. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. So this is TubeSock is Windows or Mac. Uh, I, uh, you know, this has been around for ages. It also works, by the way, with other HTML video sources like uh, TED Talks, yeah, and uh, that would be nice too. It'd be nice to be able to put that content on your uh, on your tablet and watch it on the train. Right. It's a great idea. Okay. Give it a shot. Well, Let me know. Actually, I'd, and, I'd, and I'd may I ask you one other quick question? Yeah. If, if it's not very long, um, I don't have a Chromecast or one of those Hulu things. I use. Uh, Dish Network, and I also use Cox Cable to have a very fast internet connection at home. Yeah. It's like 50 MIPS or something like that. And so I'm wondering, would a Chromecast be a, uh, like um, a way to go with with getting more content without buying more Dish channels? And I understand you probably can't get local channels, right? No, yeah. In fact, the only thing that will give you local channels was deemed by the Supreme Court to be illegal. That was Aereo. Okay. Um, and I, so I suspect with the failure of Aereo, and they've since gone out of business, that it's unlikely for a while you'll be able to get local channels over the Internet. The Chromecast is a little more limited. So the idea is you can get a lot of TV just going over the Internet. The way the Chromecast works a, uh, is you have a device, an Android or iPhone, with, with Chromecast-compatible software. And that so YouTube is an example. And then you select the Chromecast that's hooked up to your TV from the YouTube app, and you say play. It then starts playing through your TV. It no longer needs your tablet. You can use the tablet as a remote control, but it no longer needs it because the Chromecast is now getting it over the Wi-Fi and putting it into the TV. It works with Netflix. It works with YouTube. It works with an ever-growing number of applications, but it's not everything by any means. I got it. And you still have to subscribe to Netflix. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it works. With, so it works with Google Play. You can buy a TV show or movie. The real issue for this is called cord cutting, by the way. The idea right. that you would get your television with on the internet entirely. The, you know, if you're lucky enough to live as I think you are within uh, reach of a, t with an antenna of local channels, then use the antenna. You can get the local channels that way, and everything else you can watch on the internet. That means pretty much everything. Sling has a new uh, TV thing, Dish Sling TV. Uh, since you're a Dish subscriber, you could probably take a look at this. It's $20 a month. It gives you CNN, ESPN, and a bunch of Disney stuff. It's not by any means complete, but it is, a, I think, a major first step towards the ultimate dream of just having Internet TV entirely. I think we're getting close. 